keep moving. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Then your poverty will come on you as a robber and your want like an armed man. Proverbs 24, 33, and 34. Have you ever been riding a bicycle when suddenly a gust of wind begins blowing against you? You had built up momentum, but were now resisted by an uncontrollable force. You may also remember how hard it is to resume pedaling once you've stopped. I've been in this position, my friend, and learned the importance of perseverance. The Puritan writer Richard Sibbs illustrates the importance of perseverance in another easy to understand manner. He writes, as watermen rowing against the stream, if they do not row but rest ever so little, the stream carries them back again and they cannot recover themselves but with great difficulty. So it is with the Christian race. A little interruption of duty causes three times as much pain and effort to recover our former estate. Therefore, we are able to take a holy resolution and not to be interrupted in good duties. Reverend Sibbs was warning his congregations about becoming lax in their spiritual exercises. If he were alive today, he would issue a stern warning against substituting television time for Bible study, sporting activities for prayer, and so on. He would firmly but lovingly exhort us to not allow anything to deter us from going after God with all our strength. The moment we begin to slack off is the moment we begin to backslide, instead of moving forward with the Holy Spirit's momentum. This devotional was taken from the Reverend Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and I pray you have a blessed day.